Bitcoin mining is bigger, more competitive, and in many ways more profitable than ever before. Bitcoin recently hit another new all-time high in price. And let me just be frank, I'm not a shill and I'm not a fanboy. I think Bitcoin is still just getting warmed up. The crazy ideas of a 250k Bitcoin are not all that crazy anymore. To be honest, in the world of investing, that would just be a lowly 2x. Enter hydro mining. Hydro mining is essentially liquid cooling your Bitcoin mining rigs, but not in the same manner of immersion mining. Immersion mining is you basically put in a tank of liquid and all that liquid or oil immersion fluid runs through it, runs over it, it takes the heat, it runs through a dry cooler and it comes back cooler, like a radiator in your car. It has coils and it pushes air through and it, and it cools that fluid down. Hydro mining is more like water cooled PC parts. And today we're going to dig deeper into Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency hydro mining. Why hydro mining is, at least on paper, the best decision for new mining rigs, new mining farm build outs, and even potentially small at home mining deployments. But there are some very serious caveats as well. I'm Drew Vosk. I don't know everything, but gosh dang it, I've been trying to do this for quite a while. I've been building my own Voscoin Bitcoin mining farm and documenting my crazy crypto journey here on the tube. Would you be interested in a limited edition collaboration for a Boss Coin Green, Bitax, Gamma, or maybe even a Nerd QX++? What if we put a node in the mix as well so you could be truly solo mining Bitcoin on a small scale? Please let me know down in the comments below because I think that would be a pretty fun project, but if you guys don't want it, well, that, that, that's that's all that matters. It's for the incredible Boss Coin subscribers. Tune in all the time. If you want to grab the Gamma or the Nerd QX Plus Plus right now, please consider supporting the channel and our content by using our link down in the video description below. And more importantly, support yourself, get that 10% discount with code BOSSCOIN. So most major manufacturers are producing hydro miners now. Uh, for example, MicroBT and their What's Miner series have been doing this for quite a while. I also suspect that they have a higher efficiency uh, device coming sooner than later but it hasn't been really announced for sale yet. Looking at these devices, they come in that server form factor. And they've been pushing hydro or liquid cooling for quite a while. So has Bitmain, and some people have deployed hydro miners with mixed success over the years. I've personally had an awful experience with the S21 series of Bitmain ant miners. I've had one machine with them for half a year and the other one for nearly a year. And I've been blowing them up trying to get my hardware back. One thing they said was out of warranty by a whopping six days and they're trying to send me a bill. Really sucks because it broke well before the warranty period expired, but I didn't really think about that and hustle to get it sent in. The bottom line is the S21 build quality and quality assurance is absolute trash from Bitmain. And I hope that I can get my hardware back sometime in the future. But anyway, my drama aside, I guess, Bitmain has been pushing their ant rack uh, for a while and they've been trying to send this to anyone who will take it they've, they've tried to get us to take the ant rack like 10 times and uh, that's an exaggeration maybe like three different times and i can't deploy this because this in particular and their th and their hydro miners need three phase electricity what's interesting about this device though is really when you look through their announcement and their specs there's a heavy focus on the heat redistribution the heat reuse i think they call it a heat reuse module a heat recovery module and essentially they break down how you know you should deploy this in your hotel all right you should deploy this where you have a swimming pool and heat it and heat reuse in bitcoin mining makes a lot of sense right because i, I produce enough heat on my own little mining farm that i could probably heat a hotel and their pool uh, for essentially free but i don't have a hotel here and i don't have a pool here at least yet on the pool it's definitely on the dream sheet the point being if you're creating this heat why not reuse it right why not fire up a greenhouse and instead of paying to run a heater you just take your waste product of heat and reuse it it makes a lot of sense but it takes careful planning and products like this are engineered with this kind of stuff in mind because hydro mining is much cooler. When you look at the design of uh, the ant rack and other hydro mining solutions, 
you have that miner in there that has no fans on it but it does have fans on the rack to keep the general casing cool and then we have these little tubes and these little tubes are running fluid throughout it that is dissipating the heat in real time that circulation in conjunction with their air cooling heat exchanger or essentially a radiator is what makes all this magic happen you'll also notice all of their big announcements are all rooted in their hydro miners these days right the s23 hydro the most recent hydro cooled bitcoin miner announcement 580 terahash a second at 5510 watts which equates to 9.5 joules per terahash of efficiency or watts per terahash of efficiency to put that into perspective the s19 series were essentially 30 watts per terahash out of the box the s21 series 16.5 joules per terahash of efficiency there and uh Bit Deer and their Seal Miner series are not sitting idly by on the hydro front. They've been developing hydro cooled miners as well. They are not using Bitmain's custom form factor. They're using a typical server rack style here. And what that means is you can essentially deploy this in a server rack and then install a liquid cooling module there. They boast with their setup. I mean, you're going to have to add other things that do make noise. But congratulations, this piece does not make noise. It's toted as no noise. Bitcoin mining efficiency is moving fast. Uh, the recent release from most minor manufacturers for Bitcoin mining is around 16.5 joules per terahash of efficiency for their ASIC Bitcoin mining chips. These are application specific integrated circuit chips, custom computer chips just for Bitcoin mining. And uh, man, is it speeding up fast. Uh, just a couple years ago, again, 30 was around the number. Before that, it was much higher. And now 13.5 is realistic. It's realized there's machines out there that do that. And announcements at 9.5, 9.7, Bitmain recently came out and tried to one-up BitDeer and projecting five joules of terahash in 2025. That is scary. That is so much more efficient than current machines. When you look at mining profitability charts like mining now, huge shout out to them for supporting the channel. And I've grown to like their tool. You, you can input whatever your electricity rate is here in the top right. These numbers reflect the mining profitability after removing the electricity bill, which is pretty substantial on machines like this S23 Hydro 3U, which consumes a whopping 11,000 watts of electricity, right? So the electricity bill for me on that every day is 20 freaking dollars. So this is actually mining $65 of Bitcoin every day. Well, if you have one. And here's the deal, like that density is crazy. And these have gone back to that server style and not Bitmain's weird hydro block unit style. You look at the S21 EXP Hydro 3U, huge power consumption, big mining profitability, big mining profits, right? But the most profitable miners in the world right now are not some obscure shitcoin miners. They are hydro Bitcoin miners based on their high hash rate, their high density, and just the current state of mining the first second and third most profitable mining rigs in the world you can potentially buy i mean this is more of an announcement futures order same with this one this one is you can order it now is bitcoin miners with hydro cooling number four is yet another hydro miner but it mines dogecoin litecoin and the fifth one comes back again to bitcoin hydro mining and then the sixth is a miner that people will probably never make their money back on. The Ice River AE3. My Ice River uh, Alio miner is broken right now. I need to mess with it, switch the pools, but it has not worked well. It has not worked well at all for me. And I'm thankful I got that one to review because I would be uh, pissed if my A0, if I bought that A0 and it wasn't working. I'm irritated with it and I got it for free. That's crazy, right? And then after that, <laughs> the profitability just updated in real time, is another hydro miner, another hydro miner, another hydro miner, another hydro miner. How long can general miners sit here and ignore hydro mining rigs? At what point are you paying a huge premium to use non-hydro miners that are potentially less efficient, a higher cost per hash. 
Here's the deal though, I haven't used this new generation of Hydro Miners. I don't know if they hold up. Like I can tell you the S21 series has been an awful investment by me. Uh, they have not held up well at all. Fingers crossed so far, my S21 XP's have been good, uh, but my S21's and my S21 Pro's have been uh, the worst performing mining rigs I've ever experienced, uh, for, especially on the Bitcoin mining front, in about 10 years of mining. What an award that you would never want to receive. Coin Mining Central is a miner reseller. And, and really, they, they give you a realistic price on like the market value of these machines. And so we're an affiliate. I have a coupon code and discount code down in the video description below if you want to support the channel. Uh, but we look at these different uh, hydro miners. We see the Bitcoin hydro miners and the Doge hydro miners and then also the immersion miners are in this list. Uh, almost all of these require three phase electricity. My favorite immersion miner is actually from Canon. And what's really cool is that runs on single phase electricity and not only three phase electricity. But you can see with these hydros, even something like an S19 XP Plus gets nearly 300 terahash a second at a pretty low price point for the current uh, market of Bitcoin miners. But this is an S19 series, so it doesn't have that great of efficiency. But the density is nothing short of impressive. And there's actually a couple hydro miners uh, for Ethereum Classic mining. But that is a coin that I'd be very leery of investing more mining rigs in with just its lack of anything uh, that it ever does. And only putting out $200,000 in ETC uh, per day. I have several Ethereum Classic miners on the farm. They're a way that I diversified it. It's been an okay endeavor, but I'm definitely not rushing to expand. And I really don't plan to really add any more ETC Classic miners to the farm ever at this current rate and trajectory. Uh, my cast miners have been holding up like garbage long term. Uh, so really the only obviously viable things long term for mining are bitcoin miners and dogecoin mining it's proved to have some pretty serious staying power and it's also merged mined with uh, litecoin and even with the lower mining rewards on that coin comparatively to the market cap it still eclipses most cryptocurrencies in their 24 hour emissions there these are the official specs on the volk miner d1 hydro ltc doge bells mining has gone to the absolute crap what a surprise shit coin shit the bed huh? uh, 33 giga hash a second 9300 watts futures order volk miner seems to be pretty low volume definitely newer operation we'll see what they can do and what they can keep up with here moving forward uh, but i bet that bitmain is going to come and turn around and have a better version so we'll see what happens on that front uh, some people have been commenting on the channel why don't you use a single phase to three phase converter uh, because my power company basically wants like $120,000 to pull three phase out to me and that's before I do like any of the other stuff I have to do which costs me much more money on top of that. With the recent investment in the mining farm, I, I, I just recently spent a lot of money and a lot of time expanding the mining farm, routing power around and configuring this in a manner uh, that would work best for me uh, moving forward here. And basically I'm in a situation where I am actually thinking about, I need to do some more research. I worry about using these things under serious load long-term. Stuff like this, I see why you would install this to test something that's on three phase, but not for a permanent deployment or maybe like really oversize it. All right, this is like 70 amps, right? But then maybe just run a three phase fan that, you know, pulls up to like 10 amps or something. I just worry about the long-term load and also the inefficiency it's never efficient to convert electricity uh between different voltages and phases and things like that uh but i, I wonder about just installing something like this on the farm so i can at least get these in check them out test them review them and then send them off to a mining farm to be hosted or, or something like that Speaking of hosting, we recently started working with Terra Hosting. So they're running several of my mining rigs right now. Three of them are in my K7s they're running right here. And also I have a couple Bitcoin miners sent to them as well. And my machines have actually been there for several months. So I had a great testing period with them. And Terra Hosting is not going to be the most dirt cheap hosting opportunity uh, around. But they've essentially positioned themselves as like a premier premium ASIC mining hosting option. All right, so they're hosting over a thousand machines, three megawatts operational, 
and, and, and truly, in my experience, they've had great uptime. So huge shout out to Terra Hosting. If you do want to check them out, I'll link them, but please, I don't have some kind of affiliate link. If you do, head over to Terra Hosting, let them know you came from BossCoin. An interesting note on the hydro cooling front is you see uh, mining infrastructure manufacturers like fog hashing, which specialize in immersion cooling solutions from their C series and which we've reviewed in their B series to now their H series. They are pushing into the hydro mining game. They see what the manufacturers are doing and they're seeking an opportunity there. Efficient, streamlined, easily deployable hydro cooling module solution for warehouses and container based operations. Basically buy a customized, very customized shipping container for plug and play hydro cooling solutions, miners, models, whatever. And for example, this H200 says it supports 20 units of the M63 Bitdeer A2 or Alphapex DG1 Hydro with a capacity of up to 200 kilowatts. Then they have their HC40 120 2U minor capacity, 1.2 megawatt. And then, did you want a double decker? Well, congrats. 242 U's or 420 custom amp miner. That's some crazy density. They also have customized solutions and these racks and so forth. Again, all on three phase electricity. Uh, but I have noticed that all of Fog Hashing's container solutions are very expensive. We looked at their BC10 immersion uh, solution and it was just it was just really like terribly priced it was way too expensive to the point that there were so many cheaper options that I would just be burning up cash to have a yellow box uh, on my mining farm uh, as opposed to other options there but regardless it's interesting to see what the industry is doing and why and how it's moving this way and it's easy to overlook this thing if you're on the smaller side of bitcoin and crypto mining this is the state the current state of mining especially on the hydro front on Vosk, you're on the Vosk on youtube channel this is the current state of tails our super cutie pup and our ceo here at Vosscoin. 10 seconds of tails in every video i hope you enjoyed all of this and please subscribe to check out our incoming content. We've got a lot in the pipeline and we're just trying to do the best we can every day. And uh, that's all you can do. I'll see you next time.